Hi, I'm Art Suwan Singh, and I'm here at NAB, National Association of Broadcasters 2019. I flew in today from LA because I wanted to be here at BenQ booth. I also wanted to see the trade show, which is huge, by the way. If you haven't come, you should, because it is mind blown the things you will see here. But I also want to see and give you guys a sneak peek as well at the brand new display they're going to launch later this year. It's the SW270C. And it's a display right behind me here, which is really cool. So the 270C, to give you some context and to give you a little history, it's an upgraded version of the SW2700PT that was released a few years ago. I've tested that version extensively. I love that version. I employ that in my studio. I have my friends who use that display. It's a great 2K display. And then Rinky you also have another 27 inch as well, the SW271, which is a 4K display. Well, the time has come for the brand new redesign, SW270C. The first thing you're gonna notice is redesign base. That's gonna be much easier to mount and so forth. It also has a second generation hockey puck that now gives you a little bit more control over what you want to do. It has the wheel that you can dial here. For example, the default setting is to dial down up and down the brightness. However, you can change this to whatever fits your need, which is really awesome. The same numbering system that was there before for you to switch different color modes is still there. Again, you can still custom program this to your profiling that you have. The awesome black and white mode is still there. Another thing that changed from the SCB2700PT is that the hood is now super easy to take apart. And they will still ship with the shading hood out of the box. So you don't have to worry about getting a shading hood separately, which is really awesome. Gone are the little nubs for the shading hood to go on. Right now, the new one is just their, their little pockets there they, that the shading hood just clips on. The other thing too that I really love is that they took the cue from the 4K sibling, SW271, is the infinite display. We also see it in a 24 inch version as well, the SW240. But now they have implemented it in a 2K version, SW240C, super awesome. Love the design. Brightness and color uniformity is a new feature in BenQ SW27C. What that really means is that the panel is held to a much higher standard calibrated from the factory. So what that really translates to you, the user, is that when we show a picture with a white backdrop or if you just actually go into Photoshop and show everything in all white, what you're going to get is pure white. You won't get white that's shifting in green or shifting to kind of magenta. And the other thing too is that you're going to see a much better uniformity in terms of brightness throughout the display, whether you're doing a neutral tone, white, gray, or black. And that's something that's going to be really cool for this panel. A couple other things too, for those of you that edit on a MacBook Pro, on a Mac with USB Type-C. It's really awesome because this monitor is now USB Type-C compatible, so it's just one cable, and this one cable does a little bit more than SW271 even. It will not only power your video signal, and also bring the signal to your I.O., the USB port, the standard USB port that's still back there, and the SD card slot, so now you have a built-in SD card slot when you hook it up to your Mac, but it will also provide 60 watt of power to your computer as well saves you a lot of time and you don't have to plug in extra power brick which is really awesome now if you're running on a 15 inch macbook pro you may have to actually plug in the 85 watt power supply because it does draw a lot more power but if you're running on a 13 inch model you'll be perfectly set which is really awesome a couple of other things here i want to touch on and this is kind of a sneak peek this is not the final version this is a pre-production model uh, but is this what we can do is we can do color adjustment mode and they have added a few more color adjustment mode. For instance, we now have not only just the Rec 709 DCI P3, but we also have Display P3 as well. And one of the features that I think is really cool is we also have a M-Book color. Now M-Book color is very similar to DCI P3. It's a DCI P3 color space, but the color has been tweaked in a way to mimic the look of a MacBook Pro. 
but a lot of really cool things coming from BenQ later this year. I can't wait to get my hands on this when it arrives in my studio, the actual production unit. Like I said, when that comes, we'll do a deep dive in this, we'll go into all the features, we'll talk all about it, we'll do the full calibration or palette master element. This is gonna be great. But for now, I'll kind of leave you with some previews of this and the BenQ booth here, which they have a lot of really great products. So if you haven't looked at them yet, you really owe it to yourself to do so. Thank you so much and we'll catch you next video. Thank you.